What's up, guys? What's poppin'? Okay, there's a reason why I got the girls together. Because they say, again, since I'm getting new subs, which I'm happy with you guys. Thank you for subbing. Me and Susie love you. We love all you guys. How you guys doing? I'm working on my machine. I didn't know how good it looked. I can go back up. I can go front. Like, I can just stand in the kitchen and do it. But I came to bring it up to here because I wanted it to show. Now, how many fucking times do I gotta show this? Hmm? How many fucking more times? I don't understand. There's three of them. They are triplets. They are triplets. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I don't know how many times I gotta show it. I don't understand. But for the new subs, thank you for subbing me and Susie. We love you. And I'm gonna try to make things make sense for you. But you're really gonna have to go through the videos. Because otherwise, you're gonna be lost, baby. Alright? Now, how many girls do you see? One, two, three. Triplets. Do you understand? They're triplets. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you, say it. They are triplets. The one on your left does not come, is not the one that runs the streets. These are the two that do all, they make films. Yeah, they do. And I think that both of them got duped that night into, think, into thinking that they were going to play a part and they didn't know that they were going to die. That's how I feel exactly what happened, that they didn't know that since they do films, they thought that um, nothing was going to happen to them and they were going to make their money. And they knew, to me, they knew that they were going to kill two girls. They just didn't know it was them. And that's exactly what happened. And if you ask me, I can count one, two, three. They're triplets. For the love of God, for the love of Jesus, this one on the left, she don't come she to Chicago at all. She's still alive and kicking. But these two are the ones who ran the streets in Chicago, like we say. Now here's the last picture of them that I'm going to show. Because what I want to get into is when they come and pick up Kanika's body. Do you see what I see? Do you see the triplets? Okay? They're triplets. There's three of them. The one on the left is not the one that runs the streets. The other two are the ones. And especially the one on the right. She was the one that they were gang stalking. Because I know her by her nose. I know them apart because I studied them. Don't you see the one on the right and the left has the same, I mean, the one in the middle and the other one has uh, the, on the left has the same nose and the other one doesn't? They're triplets. For the love of God, I say it again. Do you understand that they are triplets? Okay, so let's get into what I want to get into. So we saw the liar. Yeah, that video that I made. Because... She said, oh my God, when I saw my daughter in a body bag, bitch, when the fuck did you see your daughter in a white body bag? Unless you were in the back. So we're going to get into that now because we have new subs and they are lost. Okay, so we're going to do that for them because they're one of us now. Love you guys. Let's keep going. All right, this video is called Teresa, You're a Liar, I think. But this video proves, well, as you all heard, 
That's what he used to say. When I saw my daughter in a... Give me gum! When I saw my daughter in a white body bag. This one got no taste. When I saw my daughter in a white body bag. When did you see her in a white body bag? When? So you saw... I would love you to answer that question. When? Unless you were in the back steps. Hmm? Were you in the back steps? Everybody study this guy. He came in with the corner, right? Like I told you, he's an actor. He is an actor, okay? And I'll prove it to you. All right? I will. We have Kanika all wrapped up with all that shit on her face. All of that. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. And I want to show you the difference in the Ganika with the ashy blue jean jacket on and jean pants, not the fucking light blue. You'll see. But who is this? Isn't he the guy who came to pick up? Isn't he a corner, one of the corners? Huh? I'll show you that this is all a film. I'll show you that this or that they're actors and this was on the 9th. I'll show you it. Watch. They were, I mean, on the 6th. I'm sorry. I'll show you it. Watch. I'll show you it. Because him right there came to pick up the body with the other corner. We're going to see the other corner now. Now watch. I'm going to show you the other one. Now the cops left and both of them went to the back. Here comes. And tell me who that man is. Damn it. I'm going to get him got it. See, I should use the remote control. I'm so stupid. Who is that, guys? Let's let him move a little bit. Who is he, guys? Isn't that the YouTuber who debunks everybody? Huh? Isn't he? What are you doing at the Crown Plaza? Mm hmm? What are you doing at the Crown Plaza? See, like I told you guys, they were on cue. Okay? They were on cue. This was all set up. And I'll put it to you at the end of this video. They were on cue. The police were on cue. He is not a coroner. Neither is the other one I showed you. I showed you him. This is the YouTuber. The one that was all, had so many subs and everybody was believing in every little thing he said. It was like all of a sudden he came on camera and he was fucking God. Fuck out of here. We know who you are. We know who you are. I ain't gonna say his name, but I don't have to. All right, guys, watch this. Okay. What do you think he wants to get? What do you think they're doing? Hmm? What do you think they're doing? And watch them get so scared right now. Watch them get so scared. Boom. Look how scared they got. Why? Hmm. The casket they got when they saw the police. Because why? The camera's there. They have the camera there. Ah, look who's there. Look who's there. Mm-hmm. We all know who you are. Boom, they are with the body. But let me rewind it for you. We have to see Teresa says she saw her daughter in a white body bag. Um, and that she was standing in the back staircase. That would have been, would have been impossible. Watch this guy, because you're going to see him at the end of the video. And you're going to see who he really is. Saw him? He looked straight at the camera. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Who do you guys think that is? 
I'll show you. That's the YouTuber. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that's the huge. I ain't can nobody tell me that ain't him. Here comes Teresa and Leonora. Hold on, let me stop it. This is the longest they, they see the door, and she sees Kaniga. She never goes to the body to identify the body. She never sees her face up close. She never takes the time to, you know why? Because she knows that's not her daughter laying in there on there. Well, her so-called daughter, she knows it's not her. She's not going to give in. She's not going to get any other body. Leonora's there with her. It's like they don't, it's like nothing to them. But, again, I'll show you something. This is the longest. Me holding the camera to the screen. This is the longest. She sees her daughter. Because she doesn't even go to... I would be on my daughter's body, thrown on the floor, screaming, taking up all her clothes, checking her whole body. But Teresa knew that doing that would only show all the cuts and all everything that they did to this girl's body and she knows very well that that's not Kanika laying there it really isn't guys and let's see let's push it a bit more did you see that it took her three seconds not even two seconds in two seconds. Isn't that crazy? Two seconds. She didn't even go near her daughter. She didn't see if she was breathing. She didn't care. She just thought that in the morning she was going to become a Freemason and life was going to be good and she's going to have everything she wants. Like she says, everybody has an agenda. Yeah, everybody does, including you, Teresa. Look at this. She went to look for the camera. She didn't, she didn't care about um, Kanika at all. They're looking for the camera. She's making sure she got the camera and that nobody else is going to have it. She's trying to make sure that that camera is safe and that nobody's going to see it. But, like, these cops really give a fuck? Like, do they? They don't give a fuck. That's the, that's the closest she got to. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her. Never even got near her to identify her, to see if that's really her daughter, which is really not her daughter. But what I'm trying to say is to identify her as her daughter. It took her less than two seconds. It didn't. Even, the clock didn't even practically move. It didn't even practically even move. Okay, she went back there to make sure the camera was down. She went back there to not to see where her daughter was laying. Like she said, I went back there to see where my daughter was laying at. No, you didn't. And it was not this freezer, guys. She was in a double freezer, and that is not a double freezer. That is a single freezer. Hello. Let's see how long it took her. Got the camera. Make sure nobody else got the camera. She didn't go near her door. Look at her. I can't, I can't take this part because what mother would do this? Their no, is not even looking that way. She's not even looking that way. They were both there the whole night. They know what happened. She has a real camera. She has everything, the tapes, everything. She has it all. Don't you guys understand? And these two, one is a YouTuber, everybody knows, and the other one is an actor, and I'll prove it to you in a minute. 
I think they put all that stuff on top of her face to make sure she was dead. I don't think they even checked for her body. I mean, for her pulse, I'm sorry. I don't think they checked for anything. They're back there with the camera, making it, unmounting it. And the cops are just standing there, and the cop is like, what the fuck's going on back there? But you know what? Some of the cops here didn't. But this one right there, the one that walked out, he knew what was happening. Yes, she is. She went back there to make sure the cameras were down and that nobody saw nothing. That's the only reason she went back there. The only reason. That's the only reason Teresa went back there. And if you guys don't believe me, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. She went back there to make sure that camera was unmounted and that they had it. You saw when the cop came in, the cops came in, they fucking got paranoid. Let's see how long it takes her to see her daughter. Three seconds. I count it. They're too busy worrying about the camera. Who's got the camera? Who's got the camera? She didn't even look at Kanika longer than two seconds, but she was back there. Look at this, look at that, look at that. Look at her. She make me sick. I'm sorry, guys, but she make me sick. Now, look at his hand. You see his hand? He's got a butcher knife in his hand. This is what they call the hunting game. I'll push it up so you can see his hat. He, they wear this hat, and through the whole hotel, whoever they're going to kill, they use a guy, and the guy has a butcher knife. It's just like being in the street, in the forest, and somebody is, give me more gum, in the forest, and... When you're in the forest and somebody is chasing you to kill you, well, they use the Crown Plaza in the same way. So this guy is there to hunt. And after he hunts, to stab and kill. I promise you that. Hold on a second. See his hat? What do we have here? We have Monifa carrying Kanika. All right. You can see Monifa's face. Do it like this. There's Monifa's face. There's Kanika. Monifa is carrying Kanika. Do you see it? She's carrying her. I mean, if y'all can't see that, I don't know what to tell you. But that's money for carrying Kanika right there. Mm. Crazy, huh? Well, if you can't see it. Now here we have Zach. And we have him, hold on, we have him in great lighting, so I don't want to hear I can't see him, because the machine works perfect. Let's go. There comes Zach with Kanika Martin. Tell me that ain't Zach. Huh? Uh, tell me that ain't Zach with Teresa, I mean with Kanika Martin.
the stripper. Mm. Cause everybody's saying they couldn't see him. If you can't see that that's Zack Stoner, uh, same jacket he wears all the time, same hat he wears. Come on, you can't see his dreads? Come on, please. And now I introduce you to Mr. Andrea Marini. There he is, right there. And who's that guy that's standing next to him? Look at the top. What do you think he's handing him? The camera. He's handing him the camera. I can let you hear it. What does he have in his hand there? Mm, what does he have in his hand there? The camera. And who is this? Andrea Marini. Right here. The guy. There he is. Right there. All right. Let me stop this for a second. Isn't that the guy that came in with the fake corner who is a YouTuber? Huh? Didn't he walk in with him? Isn't that the same guy? He is the same guy because there he is in the upper kitchen level picking up the body with the YouTuber. And there is the guy. And he's standing next to Andrea Marini, who's partner up with Joey Staggs, the biggest prankster there is. And I'll show you him in a minute. What are these guys doing? Don't you guys know these guys? He has the same green outfit he had on on the 6th. There's a fake corner. There's Andrea Marini. He's holding on to what? I'll show you what he's holding on to. Why are Kanika's friends with the fake corner and Andrea Marini? Oh, do you guys know who Andrea Marini is? I'll show you who he is. Now, there is Mr. Marini with the fake corner that came to pick up Kanika's body. The fake Kanika. There's her boys, chilling. Those are the guys that are on 13th from Christiana when she was being gang stalked. They were at the hotel in the same exact clothes. In the same exact clothes. I want one for you. I got another one for you. And don't forget to check out the cameras. Mm. The fake corner up there. Giving him the camera. Teresa has that camera now. And Mr. Marini, you have a copy, don't you? And there's a fake corner and Kanika's boys fixing the camera on wires. Huh? Yeah. See, I'm just putting these things together for you because these videos are out already. But it's like nobody's seen them. And everybody's confused. So I'm showing you that on the 6th, Kanika was murdered. And so was her sister, I think. Um, her twin, there's triplets, as I showed you in the beginning. But that's the fake corner. I told you, look at his face in the beginning. That he is up there, that he is there with all the cameras and Mr. Andrea Marini. Now, what do we have here? Mm. Wow, Andrea Marini, the fake corner, and all of Kanika's boys. Everybody that was gang stalking her, remember that day? And she was running from corner to corner? Look it. This is on the knife. They're getting ready to go in and reenact the whole night. They all have the same clothes on they had the night of the murder. Now they all got they all put on the same clothes. Look at the green jogging suit them. Who's gonna forget that? Not me. Um, and I remember the t-shirt, I remember that t-shirt, um, I don't know if you, don't you remember him? I do. I don't, what are the cameras for, guys? What's he fixing the cameras for? Huh? Because they're going in to do the reenactment, like I told you guys. Oh my God. Now, do you guys understand that this is all played out. 
because on the 6th, they killed them and to recreate everything. But that's why Teresa says, when she says, well, he, I have the ticket, but this says the 6th. My daughter wasn't here on 6th. Oh, yes, she was, Teresa. Oh, yes, she was. Now, they are all her boys, all the guys from 13 from Christiana, all the cameras, they're all getting ready to go to the fucking Crown Plaza. Yeah, they are. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, end of part three, and we'll do part four. And I didn't know how beautiful I can do this on this machine. My computer hasn't came in. I'm going to be laying on my bed. Even though I damn bought a fucking table and never put it together. But, as you guys can see, well, they, huh? Now, if you want to know who Andrea Marini is, you can just type his name Andrea, M A R N I, M A R. N I N Marini, yeah. That's who he is. He's a little film director, but he's not the big boss. I'm gonna show you a picture of the big boss. Well we're gonna do that in part in part the part four, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything. I want to eat something. What's wrong with that? Oh. Well, I just wanted you guys to know. Now, what I did was put pieces and pieces and pieces together so you can see what was really going around on in the hotel. There was a guy with a butcher knife. He has this hat on. That hat is called the sacrifice hat. He puts the hat on, and then they drug her up, throw her through the hotel, and then he hunts her. Okay? And if you don't believe me, then what are these cameras in front of your face? Huh? What are they? I love you guys. Susie, my Susie Seven, I love you. I love you all. Where's my Irene? Where's all my babies? I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go and see if hopefully this goes to the machine. Otherwise, you're going to get it the way you're going to get it. <laughs>